At the top for us tonight, more events making their big returns to the Coastal Bend. One of those, the Wings Over South Texas Air Show. It's coming back to Kingsville Net Naval Air Station on April 2nd and 3rd. Our Brian Burns tells us the base commander, well, he's excited to welcome the aviators and the fans. We see all sorts of ball caps from all people from Vietnam and Korea and World War II. Everybody shows up for this because it's great to get and interact with the, the young uh, active duty men and women that are on the air station as well. The Wings Over South Texas Air Show is just over a week away and Naval Air Station Kingsville is ready. Base Commander Captain Thomas Corsmo says he loves hearing the stories from veterans and currently serving personnel. Our active duty uh, people that will be here, our aviators from across the country are coming in and bringing their airplanes and they they have great stories to tell and the general public is going to be able to interact with them and uh, get to know them a little better as well. While the entire base is getting everything in order, the city of Kingsville is also preparing for the influx of visitors. Four years ago, uh, we it was estimated we saw about 100,000 people through the course of the weekend here in the city of Kingsville at NAS Kingsville for the Wings Over South Texas Air Show. So as you can imagine, that's quite substantial. There are some restrictions on what you can and can't bring with you. That list includes coolers, large bags and packages, no fur babies unless they are service animals, backpacks, drones, alcoholic beverages, and more. You can find the full list at wingsoversouthtexas.com. But the commander says bring a chair for the complete list of events. We're going to have a full lineup available, headlined by the Navy's flight demonstration team, the Blue Angels. But in addition to that, we're going to have the Navy and the Air Force's latest fighter, the F-35, and they're going to be flying doing a demonstration. Uh, the Army Silver Wings jump team is going to be here. Uh, Rob Holland Aerobatics, uh, Redline Aerobatics, it just goes on and on. As in the past, Friday night will feature a meet and greet with the Blue Angels pilots and flight teams. And this year, the city is urging the public to nominate military medical personnel for special recognition at the meet and greet. Brian Burns, 3 News.